It shouldn't hurt to be a child, but sometimes it does. The Child Protection Center, well, I call it CPC, helps kids tell their story and begin healing. Kind of like a butterfly. A butterfly hides in a dark cocoon until it's strong and ready to fly. CPC helps kids like me get strong. I'd like to show you how. At first, I was so scared to come here. But when I walked through the doors, it was so bright and colorful. The people here are so caring and explained exactly what I would be doing while I was here, which made me feel more at ease. This room is where kids get to meet with one person to tell their story. It's really tough, but they help you get through it. All of the other people have to stay in another room and they make sure each kid is comfortable. They have to record it, but that's only for the judge to see later. This room is where a nurse or doctor will check out kids to see if they're healthy. They always pinky promise that they won't do anything in the medical room without the kid's permission because kids are in charge of their body. Sometimes they find bruises and they take pictures. That's only for the judge too, so they can help you later on. This room is cool. See the rug? It helps kids share their feelings. These therapy rooms are where kids who have been hurt get to meet with a really nice therapist that they can trust to share their feelings. The good stuff, the scary stuff, even the bad and sad stuff. The therapist helps kids learn how to deal with all their feelings. They even teach them ways to relax or how to talk to a trusted adult when they don't know what to do. Some kids find it easier to draw their feelings. So we have a big art room here too. Sometimes parents also meet with a therapist, or kids get to meet other kids who went through the same experiences. Sometimes children are not allowed to live with their mom or dad. It isn't because of something the kid did. Sometimes the mom or dad might use drugs, get in fights with each other, or have been gone for a long time. CPC helps kids see their parents in a supervised visit. Mostly, kids and their mom or dad play games while a volunteer sits with them to make sure that everyone is comfortable and safe. The CPC wants to make sure that they can help stop bad things from happening to as many kids as possible. They educate kids through their Personal Safety and Community Awareness Program, or PSCA. This helps kids learn how to protect themselves they teach the touching rule, who to tell if someone's hurting them, and ways to be smart on their phone, iPad, or computer. Sometimes kids can get hurt because they think they're talking to a kid on their computer, when really it's an adult. Prevention is a huge part of keeping kids safe. This is the pillar of hope. It's huge! Remember, it was in the middle of the lobby when we started. See all those marbles in there? Each one of those is a child that stood here. When a kid comes to CPC and tells their story, they get to put their marble at the top of the pillar and watch it go all the way down to the bottom to join the other marbles. That's a lot of marbles. Now this is my favorite part of CPC, the playground. Kids play, run, slide, and climb. You know, stuff that kids are supposed to do. It shouldn't hurt to be a child, but it sometimes does. The CPC and people like you help kids like us grow and heal so we can go on with just being a kid. I'm gonna go play now. To find out more about the CPC and how you can help, please visit us at cpcsarasota.org.